Welcome to the Propreneur Podcast, where we help practice owners become better entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Dino Watt. So how's everybody doing? Good. Good. Yeah? Very good. Super anxious and excited to be here. Don't be anxious. Be I, I, I don't bite. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> Only a little. Well, given where I am, I'm a little anxious. <laughs> yeah, every day is a, a new uh, uh, understanding or a new rule or a new craziness is going on, right? Awesome. Well, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Our goal tonight is to help uh, build some team unity and some t team excitement through Zoom, through Facebook, through you not being together to connect you while being disconnected, which totally stinks. And we know that one of the biggest challenges is happening right now is the fact that you are all used to, the habit has formed in your body, the cellular part of you loves to have connection and you love to connect with people, not just your patients, but with all the other people in your office. And so I wanted to get together a group of, I think, amazing leaders. And there were more. We just are only trying to do this in an hour. And it was hard enough to get everybody just to only talk for five minutes. So to get more than five people uh, on here would be, uh, or six people should, was, is going to be a challenge. And so we just wanted to uplift all of you, uh, all of the offices out there that are having a, a hard time, that are struggling just like everybody else is. We just wanted to give you some positivity, some ideas of what you can do in the meantime, and just know that we all have your backs and that we are thinking about you always constantly. I don't know about all of you and you guys can all chime in, but I've literally, I know Michelle and I have talked about this. I've been putting in like 14, 15 hour days every, I've been working harder now <laughs> without a job than I did when I had a job. Right. My message is blowing up. Emails are blowing up from TCs asking questions, but it's all exciting. Yeah, it is. It's really good. I think what's really cool is we all get to hone our skills better. We get to tighten our own ships. So when we come back, we're, we're, we're ready and we're excited to go. So I'm excited to be here. Before we get started with anything else, I'm going to do a little presentation. Uh, before I do that, I like, let's just go around the horn and introduce ourselves and tell everybody where you're from and what's going on in your world. And let's talk about like the most positive thing that's happened to you in the last week. Who are we starting oh. with? Uh, I'll go with you, Janelle, since you're over in my corner over here on my left. Yay. Hi, everyone. I'm Janelle Baum. I'm a TC out in Buffalo, New York with Asco Orthodontics. I'm also a consultant with Straight Consulting. I would have to say um, the best thing that has happened to me during all of this is I realized I cater to my kids too, too much. So we started putting them in control. They're making their own breakfast. They're making their own lunch. So they're doing everything that we've always done for them because we're now not in a rush to have to do it. So that's my silver lining out of all this. That's awesome. That's exactly how I grew up. I don't know. I mean, I, my mom never made lunch for me. I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, mom. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go. Uh, Michelle, you're over on my right side. Michelle. Hi, Michelle Shimon with Shimon Consulting. I'm actually over in Seattle, Washington. So I as with many places in the country right now, we have a lot going on. Um, one of the benefits that I actually have been very purposeful in focusing on is that I am actually quarantined with my brother and his family. We're very close with them. And uh, last night actually was the first time I've kind of posted some fun stuff with I was playing around with my niece and I thought, you know, we're always so focused on work. I'm going to take some time. And I, I dressed an American girl doll for the first time because I have two college sons, but uh, we're enjoying this time together, but it is a matter of mentally focusing on it and taking that time to enjoy it. Did I hear that right? Did you say you dressed up in an American doll outfit? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I dressed her doll. Oh, you dressed uh, her doll. I, I heard dressed in American doll, but I don't know about you guys. That's I did too. Right? See, I was like, okay, well, you know, we all got to entertain ourselves. Some of, there you go. Some of us watch Tiger King. Some of us watch, you know. <laughs> all right. Sue, Sue, you're over on my left side in the middle. Why don't you go? Hi, Sue Hainan with Impact 360. I'm located in Phoenix, Arizona. So for, fortunately, we have some beautiful weather. We can go outside. Yep. Um, gosh, the two really great things that happened this week is uh, my son and his girlfriend came over. Hadn't seen them in a long time. And we had a family night and a game night and played dice. So I got some really great games I can throw out there. And I had a virtual dinner party with the rest of my family last night. We all cooked the same thing, threw the pasta in at the same time, all sat down and ate together. 
That's awesome. That's very, very cool. I'm going to talk a little bit about that a little bit later on about virtual stuff to do together. That's great. Laura, you're right dead in the center. You're our Alice. You're right there. So. <laughs> I do know. Uh, I've had uh, um, a pretty good time, actually. I've been hiking with my dog, and you can see behind me that uh, until yesterday, that's where I was for at least an hour a day. And hey, listen, I found when I was cleaning the 2005 ortho AAO ortho directory. I mean, it's amazing what you can find on the top shelf when you try. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not, I'm not saying anything, but uh, we're having a toilet paper shortage. So if it is necessary, <laughs> you've got. No kidding. I, maybe that's why I kept it all these years. Awesome. <laughs> Very cool. All right, uh, Carol, you're right over here on my right-hand side. Okay, I am Carol Eaton. Um, I have Eaton Consulting. I also work part-time as a consultant for Debbie Best Consulting. And I'm from Napa, California. Let me show you some of my wine collections here. Um, so if there's any shortage of uh, wine out there for all of you, you can certainly contact me. I'm happy to ship you some wine. Uh, but, <laughs> I heard from your husband, though, that those were all full a week ago, and now they're empty. So that's... <laughs> so it, uh, anyhow, I'm excited to be here. I think there's some great things, um, lessons to be learned from this. My husband, who works part-time already from home, uh, this was a new challenge for us to both be home full time and we have thoroughly enjoyed each other. We are having a great time and probably some of the, the best quality time we've ever had in our uh, 16 years together. That is so awesome. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to have you on here is because I've been watching. I mean, you should do a cooking show because I've been seeing all your little <laughs> cooking and craft shows. It's been really cool. It's been really neat. So I love having you on here. All right, Tracy, coming down to you, uh, looking like you're snuggling up next to a fire. That's really nice. Yeah, 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 I am, but I can't find my kids. I can't see the fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not sure where, where they yeah. went, but they're here somewhere. As long know. as they're quiet, it doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> exactly. It's been so peaceful. So that's one of the best things that's happened this week. It's we finally found some peace at home um, once we found the duct tape. So... We're good now. Um, but yeah, I'm Tracy Martin. I um, started a consulting company called Straight Consulting. And um, this has been an insanely busy week for, for us too. Um, Janelle is on my team. And um, yeah, like this has been a fun ride. We're, I'm in Dallas and Janelle is in Buffalo. Um, so we, you know, Zoom a lot together and, and stay connected. But this week, the coolest thing that really happened was uh, both twins uh, learned how to ride bicycles without their training wheels, oh. um, and that's a big deal. And it's funny, we were just talking about it a couple minutes ago, the odds of me being home to catch that happen it would never have happened, you know, just being grounded from travel. So the fact that one said, hey, I want to try it with my training wheels off, and we took them off, and then of course, competitive nature. The other sure. one immediately wants to do it too. So, um, so yeah, we got, we got to catch that and that was really, really fun. So. Wow. That's awesome. It actually makes me want to learn how to do that. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. Well, you guys, I'm excited to be here. And that's really what this is all about, about having a laughter, levity, uh, enjoying ourselves, uh, having that team camaraderie. Uh, I have a couple of announcements for those of you that are watching, make sure you uh, answer, ask questions below. We have, uh, my wife Shannon is monitoring all the questions and she's gonna be writing some down. We're gonna be ask, uh, answering those. We're also gonna be a little competitive because we like competition, we're teams, we like to win. And so we're gonna ask you to do a couple of things. While you are watching, take a picture on your phone of what you're seeing on the screen and then make sure you post it on social media. Tag all of us if you can. Uh, we'll have a chance later on to tell everybody what our social medias are, like Instagram and stuff like that. Tag all of us. And then we're going to pick one at random and we're going to give out some fun stuff like, well, fun stuff, just stuff. Let's just say it's stuff. It's swag. So uh, I have some of these hanging around. These are water bottles. Uh, they say the most important message on there, which is you're awesome, you're amazing. So we'll have that sent out to you. We're going to have some fun that way because uh, we want to have some fun. And I don't know. We'll throw in some other swag later on. I got some pins. I got some dirty shirts, whatever. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Toilet paper. I got some toilet paper. We got you. toilet paper. Uh, yeah, that's a oh, huge right. thing. Unused. 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 Uh, 
Okay. Um, I also wanted to add, let's do a couple of announcements too. So speaking of team challenges, I love Sue that you did the like cook together, cook a meal together and eat together. My team and I just put together a, uh, an, a, a quarantine team challenge, 30 day calendar that we love to send out to everybody. Uh, just go and email me at Dino at DinoWatt.com or just go up to my website and we'll do that. Um, if you haven't seen already this Friday, tell all of your doctors to get on this Friday. We are doing a seven hour training right here where we are going to bring in all the best virtual consultants, virtual uh, doctors, virtual programs in the country. I believe we've gathered a lot together um, and I'm going to be going for a marathon seven hours. I think it's that's a world record. I think probably not, but I, it's going to be a record for me. Um, I'm not going to pee the entire time. I'm putting a catheter in. It's going to be awesome. So I want you guys to all make sure that you tell all of your doctors to be here uh, because it's going to give the, them the education they need right now to make that expansion in their business, not transition, right? Because they're still going to be great doctors. They're going to do everything they do. It's just expansion on what they already do. The great service, the great quality they give all through the virtual training. And then I think that's it. I'll do more announcements later on. But are you guys ready to get started? Yay, yes. Awesome. So I'm going to teach a concept that I love teaching to people. Um, and it's kind of, for me, it's something that I learned years ago. And it's something I always go back to. And it's called the tear cycle. And I want everybody to realize that as your home, we can focus on the things that we cannot control and be frustrated about. You can watch social media and be bummed. You can watch the news and be bummed. You can commiserate with as many people as you want. As a matter of fact, in your office, when you're together, you can do that too, right? It's really easy to find people who commiserate with you because we love to commiserate together, commiserable people. So the first thing we want to think about is that everything we ever get in our life, everything we ever do, it starts with a thought. So we have a thought in our head and from that thought, we have some sort of emotion around it. And that emotion then drives us to take a certain action. And then that action gives us a result every time. Doesn't matter what it is, we will always get either a, uh, and we'll get a, a result out of the action. There's a truth in the matter of this. We either have results or we have reasons. So we can create all the reasons why not in our life for everything. Or we can look at the results. And the problem with results, if we're going to be truthful about them, is that our fruits will tell us what our roots look like. How we think will tell us exactly, uh, I'm sorry, how, what we're getting, the results will tell us how we're thinking. So let's just go on a Dino scenario. And it's very vulnerable, but it's true. So let's just say Dino wants to get six pack abs. <laughs> Michelle, I don't appreciate the laughter as loud as you can I mute, want yourself. Back you can mute yourself and laugh all you want. But no, you decided not to mute yourself and laugh out loud because everybody else watching this looked straight at my stomach and went, nope, doesn't have them. Like, obviously, it's a fantasy. Well, I'm just using it as a scenario here, okay? So let's just say Dino wants six pack abs. So Dino thinks, uh, six pack abs, that'd be cool. I'm 47, be cool to be a 50 year old with six pack abs. You know, I could be in a magazine or whatever. But I have an emotion around that. That emotion is like, yeah, that'd be really, really cool. But that means I have to work harder than I've ever worked before. I'm already too busy. It, it really means ouch, right? I'm going to get to ouch. And so that emotion then creates an action, which is Tiger King. It's I'm not going to get off the couch because uh, I'll just watch somebody has a weird guy has six pack abs and I'll have emotion around that and I'll have an action, which is nothing. And so since I don't have the action, my result is Michelle laughing at me, no sick back abs, right? That's what the result is. It can be anything in life. It's always that way. It's always the circle of the way that we think about things. So right now you're sitting in your homes thinking, look, I'm at home, I'm stuck. I don't have a job or I got furloughed or whatever. I could up-level my skill set. Let's just say I can up-level my skill set and go watch some CE accredited courses, or I can go update my resume, or I could whatever. Like you could, there's a ton of things you can think about doing, and there's going to be emotion around that. And that emotion is going to make you take an action or a non-action. Mm -hmm. Those that come out of this whole thing, whatever the end is, and we get to go to the after, those that actually succeed after, those that are going to be tighter, smarter, faster are going to be the ones who 
look at this emotion. If it's negative and say, I don't care, I'm going to do it anyway and take action. And then you're going to get different results. Those results might not be super fast. And that's one of our problems as human beings. As human beings, we also, we always look at the thing and think, okay, yeah, I could do that in a short period of time and we never get it done. But then we think, you know, if I could do it in a long period of time, uh, it takes too long. We're so not patient that we're not willing to take the time it needs on some things. But you know, some of the things are gonna be pretty quick. For example, let's just go to something that I really love, which is relationships. And my relationship with my wife is really important. There are some times where I will say, man, you know what, I should lean over to my wife and tell her I love her right now. That's a thought. The emotion around it is like, okay, but if I do, then is she gonna think that I want something of it or is it just that I'm saying I love you? And, okay, you know what, forget it. I'm not gonna go into that, I'm not gonna do it. So I'm not going to take the action. My result is my wife's like, why don't you say you love me to me? There's all the different, we could do this with everything. We could sit here and do this all day long. I had an idea, a thought in my head. Let's put together a group of consultants who care enough about their teams or all teams across the country to help do an online team building event like this. The emotion is, you know how much stuff I got going on right now? You know how much other things I have going on? Literally this week is full of things. The emotion is that's a lot of stuff to do. But the action is because I care more about it, because I want this to be successful, I'm gonna take the action. And the result is you amazing people together, we can use this forever now, we can talk about people forever now, and you all who are watching this are now united in knowing that not only do we care, but everyone else watching it cares. And that's the result that we got together. So watch your thoughts because they will always create an mm -hmm. action. They will always create a result. You either have reasons or results. And that's my two cents. All right. Awesome. Next we have Michelle Shimon is going to be up unless we have any major questions that have to be answered. Are you good? Shannon? Okay, we're good. All right. I'm going to throw it over to Michelle. Right. We good? Yep. Yep. All right. I'm gonna, I am so passionate about what you're talking about, Dino. I know you and I have such a connection regarding that and relationships. I wanted to spend um, a section of this time with this fantastic group of panelists talking about how even the words that we use move into uh, those thoughts that lead to those actions. And uh, as the panelists are talking about team building actions and activities to connect all of us virtually, I really wanted to challenge us first individually so that we can be a better part of our teams and our practices uh, for our patients, but also just for our own um, personal growth as well. Um, right now, as we realize, um, I, I guess what's really resonated with me is people's mental health during this time frame and i wanted to talk about what stresses can cause and the side effects that we have when we focus on that stress and that anxiety and then to provide us some bullet point actions and strategies to be able to combat that and be very proactive um, right now as we recognize that our choices have been taken away from us right now so many of our choices regarding our jobs our schedules, our daily activities, places we go, purchases we make. Um, we find ourselves at home full time with kids and oftentimes homeschooling, the added responsibility of homeschooling those kids or full time with a spouse that we are not used to. And right, you know, typically our society is a very scheduled and planned out society. And right now, with what is happening and going on, we really can't depend on even what tomorrow, let alone next week, provides us or will bring. Um, expectations and information are changing rapidly. And some of the outcomes that I've observed from so many individuals are, you know, a sense of frustration, a sense of impatience, concern, sadness, depression, suffocation, uh, fear, anxiety. And when we realize uh, when we have all of those uh, feelings and emotions, we have to recognize or I really want to challenge you to recognize what that is doing uh, internally, physically to our bodies and our, our mental mind state. Um, when you know you're stressed and we have that anxiety, our nervous system responds by releasing stress hormones, including adrenaline and cortisol, 
which causes depression, uh, weight gain, and increased blood pressure, just to name a few symptoms. It's imperative that we take control of our mind frame and our emotions to minimize those side effects and those symptoms. We have to be very purposeful and very strategic and focused in what we actually do to take control over our thought process, uh, which starts with the words that we use and translates into the actions that we take, like you just stated, Dino, in your description. So uh, what I wanted to provide us in our strategy is to really quantify this into a narrow time frame, but set short-term goals for yourself. And when I say short-term goals, I'm talking two to five days. I don't want you to look into next week or into next month. Uh, given the situation that we're in right now, it could exasperate those uh, feelings of anxiety and concern and, and frustration and isolation that we're all feeling. So if we can narrow that down, two to five days, what is it that I want to accomplish? Um, think about what you've wished for uh, wanting more time in the past. All of us consultants who live on the road, I know with us, it's very common to think that I wish I had more time at home and with my family. And Tracy being able to catch the twins learning how to ride their bikes is such a blessing. And when we can have that be what takes up our energies, we're taking control over our emotions and therefore our actions and the results that we get. So think about this, you know, um, is it cooking? Is it reading? Is it family connections, projects around the house? This time is for you. So plant a garden, clean out the garage, detail your car. You will feel very accomplished if you are purposeful and you set out to accomplish these goals. Make sure that you drink lots of water, take walks, breathe deeply, circulate your blood through exercise, and take control of bettering your mental health during these times of so much unknown. Um, Take time away from devices, social media, news. These can exasperate and cause a lot of added stress and anxiety, and I personally experience it as well. So set a timer for two hours where you are going to proactively and strategically choose an activity that will stimulate your mind and take care of your emotions. Um, you know, like Dino, you had said in the introduction, we are a society that is already addicted to our devices and the mental stimulation that social media provides. Uh, step away for an amount of time each day and take control of your mind and your thoughts through those purposeful actions. Uh, you'll feel empowered, you'll feel satisfied, um, and you'll feel happier. Not to mention that you'll be giving your mind and your thoughts a break from this constant topic of news and stress that we are experiencing. Now I know it's a funny joke. We all are seeing the memes of pajamas and who knows what half of us are wearing on the lower part of our body right now even. But um, get up, shower, and get dressed during your day. Start your day off with strength and with power. You know, um, my good friend Jill Allen posted today in her video the importance with remote work and remote training. And it is a matter of getting up and purposefully starting your day. Um, those memes are so funny because I know they're true, right? It could be six o'clock at night and people are pouring themselves a glass of wine and they haven't gotten out of their pajamas. But I want us to, I want to challenge you to take care of your mind and your emotions because this will directly reflect your actions and the results that you get. Um, the words that we use are a direct correlation to our thoughts and to our actions. So when I'm training team members and when I'm training review processes internally and practices, I use the word problem versus opportunity often. And if you look at problems as opportunities, it changes your mindset. And you look at something in, uh, proactively as opposed to reactively. So we want to control our, how our mind sees a situation. Um, 
when we look at what we are in right now, which we are all globally, nationally, we are all in this together. And if we look at this, like you started out our session with today, as looking for the positives and looking for what we can be grateful for, we will turn around what our experiences are. Um, and our bodies and our health will reflect whichever direction we choose, whether it be the fearful negative direction or whether it be the positive optimistic direction. And, you know, one of my team members, uh, Jenny, is so inspiring to uh, many of our clients and our team as well. And Jenny weekly writes in her gratitude journal. And I know myself during this time in, want me, you know, wanting to train my thought process, writing something down that you are grateful for is very, very powerful. And you can't retrain yourself. You can turn yourself into a positive, optimistic person. Um, through these steps that can be an exercise and activity that you do with your kids and that you do with your spouse as well. So um, I do understand one other uh, feeling and emotion that I wanted to touch on that I've observed often right now is that of disappointment, you know, disappointment with canceled trips canceled birthday parties, weddings, graduations, sports seasons, just that sense of concern and sadness over disappointment. Yes, all of these have been postponed, yet you can control guiding your thought process and helping those around you do the same, um, including your kids that are disappointed in birthday parties or so forth. Sit down and write a gratitude journal. Write down what you want to uh, use as an effort to improve your own emotions and your own thought process as well. So I do want to end before I move over into Carol talking about how we can really build with our team remotely. Um, I have a good friend of mine, Dr. Ed Davis, who wrote actually very impressive and he's actually a really good singer, but he wrote this song and he posted it and I would like to, it was just a creative spin. I brought a lot of smile to my face. So here we go. Hey guys, it's Ed Davis. Um, I guess you probably heard about the governor extending the e-learning to the end of April. Um, in honor of that, I decided to write a little song. I do not have rights to this music. The kids will go back to school tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow they're still here. Just thinking about tomorrow when the kids are back in school and learning. I'll drink beer when I'm stuck in quarantine and locked up in my house. I just look at laundry and dishes and say. back to school tomorrow since the governor gave them another month to stay away. all right hope you enjoy it we'll see you soon bye isn't that just great you know it's it just brought it was a great positive twist oh, it brought a smile awesome. I just want to, as I wrap up my portion and move on to the other fantastic information from the other panelists, I just want to say we all will be okay. Um, if we use these opportunities in our lives and in our businesses, you know, there's so many opportunities that we have to make positive changes and pivots uh, that will remain with us long after this crisis has subsided. Cease these opportunities and think about how this has launched us into a new standard of care within our businesses, as well as actions personally. So, absolutely, that's awesome. Very good. Thank you, Michelle. That's great. Thank you for doing that. Uh, so true. So true. So true. Um, we wanted to answer a couple of questions real fast. We had here. Somebody asked where, how can they, and let's open this up to everybody. Uh, they want to know some sources that they can up-level their skill sets uh, while they're at home. Different places like Oprah and Deep Rocket doing their meditation uh, course. We've got social media courses online that are going for free. If anybody has any other sources, Sue? Yes. Uh, Yale opened up their course, the most popular course on happiness. And I'm taking it. It's a 10-week course. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, I can't tell you're taking it all because you look really down <laughs> in the dumps, but yeah. <laughs> no Anyone else? Tracy. Trapezia. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna plug in Trevizio here. We just launched our all video TC Academy on it um, this past week, and um, and that's selling like crazy. But they have everything for assistance for for every position within the practice. You can get um, CE webinars right now. Uh, we just did one on virtual exams. There's tons out there. Um, I strongly, strongly urge all auxiliaries to be pouring into themselves professionally right now while you are at home. You need to be using this time to, to figure out more ways um, that you bring more value to the table. Um, I can't stress that enough. So totally agree. That's, that's so true. So true. Up level those skills. If you are a digital marketer or you're inside of digital marketing at all, digitalmarketer.com, I believe is still doing it for free. You can go and take a ton of their courses, just sign up and they'll take, and they're one of the best digital marketing courses online. So you can totally do that. Anybody have any quick ones before we go to Carol? I, I heard that the AAO opened up their staff uh, portal at no charge as well. I, I haven't seen it, but that's what I heard. You can okay. check. Very cool. Very cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, like I said earlier, I wanted to have uh, Carol on when I first thought about doing this. Uh, part of it was the inspiration of what her and her husband are doing at home. And I've been able to stalk them and watch is so fun. First of all, I love their connection, their relationship together. That's a, a huge part of uh, some things that attract me. But to see what they've been doing, I wanted to make sure that everybody got to hear from Carol around uh, how to just really solidify joy in their life and in their practice. So Carol, you all set? Perfect. Well, thank you, Michelle. That was a great way to get us started. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was now that uh, we're separated from our team, how do we stay connected with them and get to know them beyond their dental job description or role in the office? And, you know, we are a big family. And I know there's a lot of offices that I've been staying in contact with that really miss each other. And just like family, um, we love each other. Some days we don't like each other as much and uh, we have some differences. But what's really cool is that right now, while we're apart, I think that absence makes the heart grow you know, fonder. And I think we're experiencing that. And so I wanted to share some things that we can do to stay connected with each other while we're apart. And I got to thinking about how many of us know each other by our job description and the roles and some of us share more during the day than others depending on your position in the office and um, I thought this would be a great time for us to really get to know your team members um, more intimately and really um, so when we go back to work and we're all together again we're going to have a different appreciation for everybody so definitely we want to stay in touch with whether it's calls, text, uh, getting on online meetings, Facebook post, and keep in mind these are, these are your family. This is your family. You spend more uh, waking hours with your teammates during a normal week, back when normal was a word we could identify with, than we do with our own families. So how well do we know them? So I have a few challenges for you to ask your teammates, and this will be uh, an exercise that could drag into a couple weeks, depending on how many are on your team. But I'd like you to ask a question of each team member. If you weren't doing what you do now, whether you're scheduling coordinator, treatment coordinator, clinical manager, whatever role you play in the office, if that were not what you were doing now, if you were going to choose one additional or another career or job path that you would have chosen, tell us what that would be. And why is that of interest to you? So, for example, many of you may not realize, as a young girl, I wanted to be a missionary in Africa. <laughs> well, as I got older, then I realized I wanted to teach. And then as I became a mature adult, I wanted to be a child psychologist. And in hindsight, when I look at all of those childhood, adolescent, adult dreams, orthodontics provided that for me in it, all in one, one position, one career, I was able to, I think, be a missionary. I was able to teach and I was able to be a psychologist working with the age group I enjoyed, junior high and high school. So I think it would be interesting for you to find out what is it uh, that other team members really have a passion about. And maybe you didn't know they were, they did home design on the side or they sang in a band or they're part of the, uh, uh, chorus of, of some group or they sew for seniors. 
uh, but it gives us an opportunity to get to know them beyond their job description and find some connections with them that maybe we didn't do beforehand in the office. Some other things, and, and I think Michelle made mention of this, um, the, the time factor. We all find we have so much time on our hands now that we're almost a little bit lost with that. And I think we have to be careful what we wish for because everybody I know, whether it's a personal goal or a professional goal, we're constantly saying, I wish I had more time. Oh, if I only had more time, I would do this, I would do that. Well, I, I think our prayers have been answered. We've been given a lot of time. And now you have to look and say, what are we doing with that time? And I think it's, it's a challenge for us to really work on our human engineering skills, who we are as people, who we are as human beings and how we're going to connect and our actions and behaviors now, what that is gonna teach us and also our children after this is over. So I'm curious for you to ask your teammates, stay in touch with them, asking them, what creative ways are you utilizing downtime at home? Uh, for my husband and I, he's a former chef. I love cooking and entertaining. Well, now we're basically entertaining each other, but we do a lot of cooking. Um, I did buy some puzzles. Uh, we play some games. We cook and eat together. Um, but what are some of the things that you're doing, and especially those of you with children? Um, we don't have our children are adult and grandchildren are, are, are not with us, even though we have grandchildren. Um, but if you're a parent, think about the example you're setting for your children. Right now, your children are very fearful. This is so unknown for them. Um, they probably haven't had to experience a lot of, of this type of stress in their life to this point. So how you react is going to teach them how to deal with the unexpected, how to deal with the unplanned. You wanna teach them to be responsive versus reactive, or as Michelle mentioned, being proactive. What I love watching on Facebook is how people are playing games, um, pulling out puzzles, uh, doing things that we used to do growing up in my era, um, family time, shared time, and some of you are being creative and doing these interesting things online, which I love, and you can share together. I liked what Sue Hainan said about cooking together. That was really cool. My daughter and son-in-law and two granddaughters um, that live about four hours away, I'm amazed at how they have sat down at the dinner table together more in the last two weeks, she says, than in the last year. But I'm going to tell you, I think it's more in two weeks than they've done in 10 years. And I, I, I'm really hoping that when this is over, that we have learned some things from this that we're not willing to toss out. Um, I, I basically hope we give up greed and we give up this desire for material things and we really truly stop and think about our needs versus our wants. And we value that time that we have with loved ones, including our team members. Um, another question and a, and a fun exercise for you to do is share your heritage with each other. What is your family background and heritage? Is there a family recipe that reflects your heritage that you grew up eating and then share the recipe? Uh, in my family on my mother's side, we're German. And so my husband and I, and this is I think what Dino saw the other day on Facebook, my husband and I made three dozen Birocks and it's a, a, a dough that's filled with uh, roast meat and cabbage and onions and you bake it. And not only was it fun for us to do that, and we put some in the freezer and I was able to um, share some with other people, uh, it gave us food, but it gave us a fun time together and, and kind of reminiscing about growing up with grandparents and parents with our heritage. Well, the best thing out of it, we were running out of toilet paper and I had gone to 12 stores in our area and my cousin, it's a second or third cousin, saw this on Facebook that we were baking. And he said, can I come pick some up? I promise I'll just meet you in, a, in your driveway. And I said, do you have toilet paper? And so I bartered um, a half dozen beer rocks for a six pack of toilet paper. Plus he brought me a bottle of wine. I swear, I feel I won the lottery. It was the most awesome thing to have toilet paper. So Again, we can cook and do some exchanges. Uh, we, you know, if we had to, I guess my husband and I could cook and set up a, a takeout uh, stand for people if things get to that point. 
but I thought how fun to find out what, what everybody's heritage is and is there a family recipe that you grew up with. And then when we're all back to work, plan an international potluck, bring that recipe and let's plan that together and have a nice fun lunch together. Another positive thing, and, and I think probably all of us um, recognize this and want to share that, but I think it's a good reminder, is share gratitude. It is a healthy virus. We can share that with each other. And I'm going to challenge each of you to make a list of all of your team members, doctors included, and to either send a handwritten note or an email to each team member acknowledging what it is about them that you admire. Because oftentimes in our, our workflow, we don't have time to show appreciation. Uh, more likely, uh, we tend to show irritation or frustration with our teammates. But here's an opportunity for you to reflect and say, what is it that you admire about Susan? And write that down and let her know what it is you admire about her. Maybe it's that positive attitude she always has at work and how she greets everybody in the morning and again at the end of the day. And then thank them specifically for a trait that they have that gives your team a real positive boost. Um, let them know how you feel about them. Think about that appreciation. And don't forget yourself. Write yourself a letter of acknowledgement too. This is a good time to think about what you contribute to the team. What areas maybe you could grow in and utilize this time as many of the others were saying how you can uh, take advantage of some um, you know, training online. Create a gratitude jar. And it doesn't have to be as attractive as this one on PowerPoint, but just get a mason jar and every day you, your spouse, your children, write something every day that you're thankful for. I, I am so uh, thankful that my husband and I get along so well because we are definitely stuck together here, but I've, en I've enjoyed our time together. I'm so thankful that in, in all of this that's going on right now and the frustrations and challenges, we still have running water, toilets that flush, and hot water. That shower every day is a blessing to me. I, I, it makes me feel great. And there's, there, you know, before this, this crisis, there are so many people in the world that don't have those things that we take for granted every day. So I think it's important to make that list of what you're thankful for and remember that gratitude and how important that is. This too shall pass. And that's a mantra that I like saying, and, and it's a biblical mantra. But again, if we look at history, there have been cycles of challenges over the years. Our generation, my generation, we've never had to struggle. We've never had to deal with um, anything like this before, but we need to remember that this too shall pass. And what will our new normal look like? And when we talk about returning to normal, I love this little quote that says, in the rush to return to normal, use this time to consider which parts of normal are worth rushing back to. I definitely want to make some changes in my life. I, I, this situation has made me realize um, there's lots of areas that I have um, taken for granted and not structured as well as I should have, or just assume that life would always be this way. And I think we have a, an opportunity here to learn from these experiences. And in closing, I want to just share with you things that are helping me get through this and to stay positive and to reach out to other people is take time for daily reflection. Your devotions, your meditation, it's so important to be reading things that are positive. Go out in nature for walks and hikes and biking. Um, our, our dog passed away a year ago, so we don't have an excuse to go out and walk our dog, but my husband and I are forcing ourselves to get out twice a day. And it's amazing. We don't know a lot of our neighbors, but we're, you know, it's so exciting to see a person come by, even with the six, you know, foot distance, we can still wave and say, hi, how are you doing? And I've, I've just really enjoyed that. Appreciate the little things. Continue adding, adding to your gratitude jar. And, and yes, get your kids involved. My grandkids are complaining right now that they're bored. Well, let's turn that around and have them find things that they can get excited about and that boring isn't an option. Uh, stay connected with family, friends, and loved ones. Don't take them for granted. And reframe the situation. Instead of asking, why is this happening? Or whose fault this is? Or you know, what's, 
what is going to happen, ask how are we going to respond to it? How are we choosing to live our lives now? And how will we choose to live our lives after this? Um, I think it's going to be exciting to see how the teams in orthodontics come back together. And they're already such um, highly educated, um, caring, service-oriented people. But I think our industry is going to even grow more so from this and be uh, so much better prepared to serve other people beyond just you know, providing that beautiful, healthy smile. So remember, this too shall pass. Take care of yourselves. Um, do something special for yourself every day. Whether it, if it's an ice cream, fine. If it's light that candle, if it's read a pleasure book, do something special for you. You deserve it. Take care, love your family, hug everybody tonight. Thank you so much. Awesome, Carol. Thank you so much. That was great. That was wonderful. Uh, I wanted to throw out some notes there. I loved your point about, you know, this is our someday. All the stuff we are planning on doing someday. Uh, yeah, go ahead and stop sharing your screen there. Um, this is our someday. I love the idea of reprioritizing. I wanted to throw something else out there too that I don't think um, everybody's really thinking about right now. I love the idea of sending uh, cards to people that you care about and saying thank you. You know, uh, one thing I know, uh, and I'm sure all of you have had conversations like this this week, all of the doctors out there, they're just as worried, just as concerned, just as stressed out and overwhelmed. So if you're a team member watching this, consider sending a thank you card to your doc. Let them know how much you appreciate them and how you know they're stressed and worried. How they're, you know, really going through it, not having any clue on how to support you in the sense of their hands are tied. I was talking to a doctor today who was just like, man, today was my last day. I had to furlough the rest of my people and I feel terrible about it. And I'm so grateful they were so kind about it. But the fact of the matter is they're worried too. So just consider sharing one of those thank you cards, gratitude cards with them and let them know um, about that. This is also another opportunity for us to tell you, if you're watching this right now, please take a picture or a video would be even better of where you are watching it right now. Tag all of us on there. So on the social media, we're gonna give out some stuff, not one of my new shirts. Shannon's like, don't tell them that. They're gonna think you're serious. I'm not giving you a new, a new shirt. Maybe use pants. Um, but uh, a water bottle, whatever you guys got, we're gonna throw stuff out there. We just wanna make sure there's some interaction going on. And uh, we are now going to head over to Lori. Lori, you're all ready? Yes. Thank you very much, Dino. I appreciate this opportunity to practice gratitude along with these other amazing consultants. Uh, you know, Carol and Michelle did a fabulous job of nailing those, those really important things to be thinking about. And I knew that they were going to do a good job. So I wanted to take a different angle today. Um, just as they said, though, we are so used to being busy all the time. We don't make time to take care of the things we really uh, need to. And this is a, an opportunity now to really look at things now that we have ourselves together because of Carol and, uh, and uh, Michelle and the rest of the ladies, we have our stuff together. But for some of us, it's already been three weeks since we've been able to see patients in the offices. We've cleaned our houses, we've cleaned our offices. Um, you know, we have an opportunity now with this new situation to really work together as a team to innovate. What are we going to do next? You know, with last night's announcement of the social distancing being extended to at least April 30th, it may be May or longer before we're able to see our patients and physically see your team. So what I want to share today is actually, I guess it's going to be a head start to your program next week. You know, we can, we can make fun videos and, and post them on our websites and Instagram. Uh, we can put questions, you know, answer common questions that patients might have at this time. Um, there's so many things that we can do to make our patients comfortable as well. The, the, the schedule, or excuse me, the, the question still remains, though, is how do we realistically address the schedule when we return? Because none of us real, you know, relishes the thought of a team breaking down after all this team building opportunities due to stress of cramming all the patients and then we need to see. This is, this is really an opportunity to motivate. So how are we going to see those patients when we're back doing, you know, going back to the office? What about our patients that are wearing elastics now? Or what about patients that you know, maybe have RPEs there turning. What, what do we do? So it's an opportunity, I think, to see our patients virtually. And whether you're using dental monitoring or not, I think this is an opportunity that we could see all of our patients really virtually. Um, some of you may be doing virtual exams already. And one of my office TCs is doing an amazing job. She had never tried it before and 
uh, started five patients last week. Um, even Evite sent me an email today saying that they're doing live chat and my vet is doing uh, in a virtual visit. So there's an opportunity here that's really growing quickly. So how do we get started? Um, decide which patients you want to see. You know, do you want to see all your patients or some patients? But I really encourage you to work together as a team to find a way to see all your patients that you've missed so you're not coming back, uh, you know, and have a strategy so you're not coming back to, you know, confusion. The, uh, there are several platforms out there. You can use Zoom, FaceTime, things like that. But what I've really been doing some, some investigating lately is Rhinogram, um, Doxy.me, there's Smile Stuff. There's all these out there. Uh, but I've really found Rhinogram to be personally very, very interesting. I think it could really work well because you can communicate easily with your team and they're bringing on uh, video very, very soon and it integrates with your practice management system. But no matter what you choose, and I have no financial interest, no matter what you choose, the key is to take action. You do have choices. There are opportunities here to do something. And so mobilizing your team, if you possibly can, to work together to see them uh, virtually and develop needs, develop your systems while you're eating uh, no-touch pizza delivery in your home. Uh, you can have patients send their intraoral pictures. You can evaluate those. You can have a, a two team members do a short video on how to take pictures with a patient's cell phone using spoons or the game Speak Out. You can put, uh, put this video on an unlisted YouTube channel and send patients a link. It's really, it's really a great opportunity out there. But there are a few things to remember that I did want to share with people as they, if they decide to go ahead and, and do this, is to remember to add procedure codes that reflect the virtual appointment so you can document on your treatment card. And this is very, very important to stay organized and document. Uh, those of everybody that knows me knows it's all about organization in addition to, you know, uh, doing things you know, as you go, you need to make sure you're really, really organized. And so you can add like a V before your procedure codes, uh, the ones you're, um, that you're going to be doing virtually. And then when the patient sends back their pictures, the clinical assistant can insert them in the chart, review and make notes. The doctor can review and make notes. And uh, you can get back with that patient, either video chat or, or texting. There's just, it's just so, I think it would be so great for teams to work together on this to so they don't have to come back worrying about how they're going to see that number of patients. You can prioritize the next visit. Maybe it's going to be a different visit or it might be a priority visit. You, the week one when you come back versus the people that need to be seen in work week two. You can see retainer patients so those patients aren't put into the schedule. You can maybe do all your clear aligners virtually. You can maybe even do some growth guidance patients. I mean, there's so many opportunities out there so you can really get your schedule organized when you come back. And I bet that because of these opportunities of doing things differently, we are going to see things change in our industry after this. I really believe that. I do have a worksheet for those of you that are interested. Just email me and I'll be happy to share it, to you, share it with you. Uh, so, you know, if you want to get started on something like this. I really think that out of this, our society will become stronger, our teams will become stronger, and let's lead the way. Awesome, very cool. I was listening the entire time, I just didn't want to distract people with my writing. So I wanted to make sure that we uh, got everybody's social media up here so people can tag you. But uh, the thing that I loved, Lori, about what you're talking about was the value that we are going to be bringing in this industry to people through virtual training, I think is going to be uh, but listen, for the last probably two and a half years, I've been talking about we've been on a wave and you're going to get on the wave or it's going to crash on you. And no one expected, I didn't expect obviously this big smash up against the wall of like, oh, now we got to do it. Again, this is that someday because I know there are a lot of doctors, a lot of teams out there that were going, okay, well, we'll think about that someday. We'll talk about that someday. Well, today's our someday and we're here now. So everything you said is so valuable about up, up leveling those skills, finding out what works for their practice, finding out what they can use. Someone asked online and uh, you can answer this please. And then if there's any other answers too, uh, do you guys see charging for virtual exams or consults? I'm gonna let the uh, TC consultants answer that because my focus is specifically taking care of your uh, current patients. Okay, great. What do you think, Janelle? I say no. No, no. way. No, no way. way. Don't you dare. 
So interesting, a doctor the other day, was it a doctor? Where was I talking to somebody the other day? I was talking about the possibility of um, charging to actually come in instead of actually do virtual, that that's where it'll eventually get because you'll have so many uh, team or people that want to do virtual that you'll be full that way, that it'll actually be a luxury that you're saying, okay, well, we charge for people to come in, but if you'd like to do it online. So, you know, I think you never know where this is going to go, which is pretty, pretty fascinating. Um, somebody else is asking, oh yeah, duh. Jenna's like, also, uh, we'll be talking all about this on uh, Friday at the virtual summit. So tune in to that for sure. Uh, the virtual summit, you need to register to go and do that. It's dinowatt.com forward slash virtual 101, because we will be giving CE credit for that. I'm actually in the middle of, uh, getting all the appropriate uh, paperwork in for CE accreditation. So I'm excited about that. Um, let's do quick shout outs before we go uh, on to Sue with, this is Michelle's um, Instagram, Tracy's Instagram, Sue's Instagram, Carol's Instagram. Janelle, I didn't see you on Instagram and I can't believe you're not on Instagram. Oh, I'm on Instagram. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's um, under my clown name, Noodle. So it's Noodle Bomb. Why, why didn't I know that? Why should I just not look that up? <laughs> noodle. And noodle, N-O-O-D-L-E. Yep. And then my last name, B-A-U-M. She's the bomb. That connects some dots now. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Lori, how about you? Do you have an Instagram? Let me get back to you on that. Okay. <laughs> I, well, I don't know what it does right off the bat. I think it's like Lori P. I'll look What's it that? up. I think it's like Lori, Lori P. P or something. Yeah. Okay. Look it up. But also if you're, if you're not connected to anybody on uh, Instagram, you can also just tag them on Facebook as well. So follow every single one of these, uh, these consultants on this right now. They deserve you to follow them on their professional page, on their personal page. Take the time just to reach over there right now. Follow them. Uh, on Instagram, uh, I know, Janelle, I know you've got a TikTok too, right? Oh, yeah, she does. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I just started my own TikTok. You can totally go watch my TikTok. But I, you know, TikTok's there. That's fun. You guys, just follow all these people. Show some love to everybody spending their time uh, doing this today. Okay, so you next know, up we, yeah. I got Lori's. Oh, okay. It's Lori GP1, so Greg Paul 1. All right, Lori GP1. Okay, I think we got everybody there. Awesome. Okay, so follow everybody on there. Uh, if I go black again, it's not because I'm ignoring it's because I don't want to distract. Uh, yeah, but you now, what's that? You don't want to miss ours. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I, I'm here, I promise. Um, okay, so next up we have Sue Hannon. Sue is going to uh, blow us away with our own weird personality, or a uh, good personality, I guess. I actually, let me just weird. say this. <laughs> I, I'm weird. I know. Uh, I'll take when, when we were at uh, the last event, we were actually could be at, which was Ortho 2, uh, which we never thought saw this coming just a few weeks ago. Uh, mm -hmm. We got to play this card game with Sue, a couple, all of us kind of towards the end. And we got to kind of see our personalities. We got to fight over what we thought we were and all that fun stuff. And I like that personality stuff. Sue and I had some really good conversations around this. So when we were putting this together, when Shannon and I were talking about, you know, people that we can reach out to and invite to this, Immediately, we're like, well, let's do Sue. I, I, I'm hoping she can get all this in in five minutes because it was a fun presentation that she gave. And I want a deck of your big cards. I just want you to know I want a big, because that's a family game night right there. So That is a family game night. It's that great to learn. But this is another really fun game. Um, do you know, and I hope you like this one. So this is for all the teams out there. And this is a game we're going to play all together, or your team is going to play all together. But it's all about building your strengths and learning about your team members' strengths. And we're going to pay it forward. So we all have character strengths. We all have 24 of them. So this is nothing but good vibes. And what a great time to focus on, oh, what's positive about yourself and your team members. So what, let's just define what a character strength is. It's the positive parts of your personality that impacts the way you think, feel, and behave, such as forgiveness, kindness, appreciation, leadership, creativity, spirituality, love, and those are just a few. So these are all really good, fun vibes. Now, I want to do a little bit of a comparison 
compared to like your personal strengths. Think of your personal strengths as your, need, you, your unique skills or talents and resources that reflect kind of like the core of you. Like I like to um, play golf. I like to knit. Um, you know, those are some of my personal um, interests and strengths, but not my character. So knowing and activating your character strengths can make you happier, more productive, and more engaged at work. So that's what we want to focus on. What do you think your unique character profile strengths might be? Hmm, let's find out together, okay? So I want you all to write this down, and I'm happy to, um, you know, send you this PowerPoint when we're done, so if anybody wants it, go to viacharacter.org, okay? Once you get to that landing page, the, on the left-hand side, you're gonna see take a free survey. I want you all to go there and take your survey. Now, you are gonna get a report back. And since we're all really good friends, I'm gonna share my top four character strengths with you. Number one was honesty. Number two is gratitude. Number three is appreciation for beauty and excellence. And number four is hope. So now that you all know yours, I hope you go get yours and somebody sends some to me because it's really fun to learn all about character strengths. So panel, I'm holding you accountable, okay? Dino, holding you accountable. All righty, so what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna unleash the power of your four strengths and your team members. All right, so you're gonna share your strengths, but I want you to be creative. And what we're going to do is I want you to go have fun. You can do this with your family, your children, and I want you to make something that you can post, whether it be um, on your, maybe your private Facebook team with your team, your Instagram. Dino gave a great rec recommendation yesterday on the um, Marco Polo. Gosh, I got my family all on that, so thank you very much. But do just have some fun, but I want you to reflect on how do you, how do you express honesty, honesty or gratitude or appreciation and just like Carol all the panels were saying and Lori and, and Michelle you know express these few things we have time to do it and when you can also focus on others and take the focus off of you it feels really really good so you're going to share with this so you're all going to go get your surveys and then you're going to schedule a zoom meeting or some kind of entire group team meeting and you are all going to take a few minutes and you're going to share whether you want to speak it or put it on you know hold your little decoration up but i want you to to share your four character strengths if you have a large team you, you all can figure this out but if you have a large team you know maybe you want to break it up or do the clinical team or do it alphabetically however you feel like it might work best for your team. All right, so next, here's what we're gonna do. Our first objective, okay team, we're gonna exercise one of your strengths. So you're on this meeting, you are going to declare the strength that you're gonna work on this week. And you could text a, a kind note, send a card, send a video, um, you know, make something for a team member. Maybe I go on a nature walk and I find some beautiful flowers and I leave them on your doorstep. But some, sing a song, make a song up, but find some way to really hone in and exercise one of your top four strengths. Here's something I did, getting out for exercise, I went on a walk. So I said, okay, I'm gonna go for my walk now. And I went, no, 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 I'm gonna go for a nature walk. So my walk was so enjoyable. I took my time. It wasn't an exercise walk. Went, walked all out into the desert right behind my backyard here and started taking pictures of all the beautiful flowers that are in bloom here in Phoenix. And then I posted it um, on my personal Facebook. And it was so fun because I got to exercise my one of my strong characters and then share it. So the next week, 
week two, you are going to speak a team member's strong, strong suit. So let's just say, Dino, you and I are on the same team, and one of your strong characters are whatever. I am going to find a way to express that and exercise how you like to listen, how you, whatever your character strength is. So be creative, teams. I know, I know that you can do this. So fun. So week one, exercise one of yours. Week two, is you're going to speak a new language, okay? And if you have some corresponding strong characters, pick something that you're not. I want to share something with you. This is so interesting. I asked my husband to do this. And um, I thought, okay, I cannot wait to see. He, our number one matched, our number two matched, our number three did not match, and our number four matched. Spot on. I, I, I still can't believe it. But we took it days apart, weeks apart, and that's what came up. So you can continue the rotation. Remember, you have four, 24 of these that you can work through, or you can just focus on a few. Now, the cool thing about this, teams, is you can bring this back to the office. I want you to bring your little decoration back. It doesn't have to be perfect. Done is better than perfect. Bring it back. Put it on your locker. Maybe, I've used, you know, in offices, I see some beautiful pictures of team members. You could have them maybe professionally done and put underneath your picture. People learn something about each one of the team members. Wouldn't that be fun? So take this, and it's a great opportunity to just pay it forward. Stay connected, take pictures while you're doing it, have virtual get-togethers. It's important that you get together weekly and share this remote um, team building activity. So you are still going to create smiles just in a new way. Focus on yourself, reflect on you, give yourself a hug. You need it right now. We all need it right now and give your team members a hug. And that's it, have fun. Yay, that's awesome. Thank you so much, very good. Awesome. Love it, well, um, I'm glad that you are spreading the joy of to going on taking nature walks and taking joy in the little things. This thing is so important, that's, that's so valuable. And um, yeah, Marco Polo is definitely something that we use way too, we should have stock in Marco Polo. Oops, I just throwing things around here. It's all live. started it, it's so it's fun. Um, on that note, we had somebody asking on here. So um, maybe we should have everybody real quick do their uh, email addresses so people can reach out if you have those resources. So like Sue, you're mentioning your, um, uh, your, your challenge on there too. Oh, never mind. Sorry, Shannon just said she's putting them all in the chat. So we don't have to worry about that. That's awesome. Uh, very good. Well, you guys, I think this has been a very successful. I'm so grateful you all could be here and doing this for us. We're going to end now and we're going to go on to... Uh, Excuse me. <laughs> we don't have time. I'm sorry. We just uh, bummer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we okay. made it on somehow. Have, to, have to keep those kids tied up for the next week. That would be really bad. Uh, no, Nell's getting guys, hot in that porta potty. Yeah, yeah Nell's no. getting hot, right? <laughs> it is. It's hot in here. But I, I love this. Wa I love kids. watching both of your eyes be like, "No, wait, what's it doing? What's going that on?" Good. That was clever, Dino. That was good. All right, so you guys, I'm excited because we have a, a, a like a Laurel and Hardy, uh, a Chandler and Joey. Uh, I don't know what do you want to call, yeah. them, but we got our uh, uh, what's your name, um, Laverne and Shirley. We got that team yeah. going on right now, where, where we are excited to have Michelle and Janelle. I wish I could move your guys' squares around so you'd be like right Janelle next. And to Janelle, but I don't know how you do that. You mean Tracy and Janelle? Oh, I'm, Captain and Tennille, is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. You know, I, I know. I just want to keep going. Uh, Cap, uh, so we want to make sure that uh, we, uh, I, I wish I could move you guys around there I, I, uh, and put you guys next to each other, but we have Janelle and Tracy together who have decided to share a little bit of fun and laughter with all of us. I think we all can use it this time. Always remembering to keep the fun alive. As you can tell, I like to kind of keep things boring, but let's have you guys take over and uh, share with us what you guys prepared. Sounds good. Sure. Okay, so this is a little a little out of my wheelhouse. It's probably a little bit more Janelle of the two of us, um, just because 
she's sun, she's sunshine and rainbows and it never <laughs> ever stops. Um, and, and it's so, it's so fitting. My husband was sweet enough to bring me a mug. I don't know if you guys can see whose face is on this, but that's Janelle. And, and this is the kind of fun that we have in our, in our team is Janelle sends me a beer mug with her face on it before I hired her just to make sure I was thinking about her. And she even blocked out her tooth. So she looked really ghetto and like shaved her eyebrow off. So it's like the most white trash version I've ever seen of her, but it's the best. And we love these cups. So and I got the job. <laughs> And she got the job. So she just has, we have fun in our, in our, you know, in, within our team. So uh, we put together a couple of things of some ideas of, you know, what we've done within our team to have fun with each other, um, especially while we're remote and, you know, and she's in New York and I'm in Dallas. So we're always remote coronavirus, you know, whatever. Um, okay. So let me share my screen real quick. And then, um, Janelle, why don't you explain Noodle and you explain um, this first one. Let's see sure that. thing. So for those that don't know me, I am a certified clown. I went to clown school. And what I used to do with my clowning is I would surprise people in stuffy corporate offices, restaurants, even traffic jams with a personalized singing telegram. And my clown name is Noodle. That's been my nickname for a very long time. Um, but I thought, you know, I want people to know me. Not everyone out there knows me. So I did a little um, spoof on MTV's Crib. And I think this is a great way for you guys to include everyone in your team. So as they're all working remotely from home, it's a great way for them to show off their personalities, their homes, in this great little self-made video. Um, you can add as much personality as you want to it. it. You've got all the time in the world to hop on and learn how to edit it too. So We've got a little clip of Noodle the Clown in MTV's Crib. That was a great intro. Give me five seconds. Not a problem. <laughs> so. And you can make this as funny as you want. You don't have to make it funny. It's just where my mind goes. Um, what you could do is show off if you have new backsplash, something like that, or you have a new um, painting in your house. Just show off whatever you want. No one's yeah. probably ever been in your house. If you worked in a really large team, the whole team's maybe never been in there. So it's a great way to show it off. Why, hello, MTV Cribs. Come on in. edited version that's about five minutes long you can find it on youtube email me if you want the full link or if you need any um creative ideas for yourself so one thing i'll say is that forces people to like clean and get dressed and it's good for everybody you know you know michelle talked about you know emotions that that gets you that gets you feeling accomplished when you've got your house clean enough to put it on camera right. and put your face on and you get dressed that day so i think that would be a lot of fun and we'd get to know each other a whole lot better i can think of you know i've 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 been in multiple practices along my career and you know we've had you know quite a few uh, co-workers over over the years and i can think of the majority of them, I have never seen their their homes. I've never been inside their homes. I've never, we've never gotten to that point. But it, you learn a lot about someone when you see their home. So, right. Um, another fun one. We'll let this kind of speak for itself. But uh, and and it's so funny. As soon as we did this, 
which we did over this weekend, um, I thought, wow, I'm starting to see a few more of these. So I think everybody's kind of got the, the, the energy is going that we kind of need a dance off. So <laughs> we'll see. I challenge you to a dance off. Hands off, no trash talk, no back walk. On the black top, just me, you, that's all. No cat calls, no tag teams, no mascots. Right now, dance off. Get down the floor! Get down the, get down the floor! Get down the floor! Do it! Come on! Yeah, that, that was a fun one. That was definitely a fun one. Um, but you can do that with, you know, it doesn't matter how many team members, but do you know what the funny thing is, is honestly, guys, especially with this panel of, of consultants, it's weird, but most orthodontists really have like a, a good, like they're good dancers. Have you seen <laughs> right? Like they're good dancers in this group. So um, I feel like, I feel like that just would really kind of liven things up a little bit, get us to express ourselves a little bit more, have a little fun with each other. We could have kids jump in, whatever. Right. We all know the mom dance, the dad dance. We can do it. You all can do it. For sure. No, for sure. Um, okay. And so, and, and I love that we've already talked about it a couple of times, but one thing that, that we really enjoy doing as a team is family dinner. And so we did family dinner this weekend. Um, and <laughs> I, we just made a graphic of it rather than the actual whole video of it, but this is Janelle's family. This is my family. And I thought this was a great one to add because honestly, it's, it's very hard to get the whole team together for, um, for a dinner, right? It's very hard, even though we schedule it every year at the end of the year, right around Christmas, in December, yeah. we all pick when, the, when we're going to have the, the Christmas, um, you know, celebration and get together. And, you know, a lot of times, depending upon the, the team size, we only have the employees. We can't even afford at some points. It's, it's a little over budget to even have everyone have a plus one. And I can think of never that I've been able to have um, the kids involved too and just have a whole family get together. It's a work family get together. And the fact that now it costs us zero dollars to get the whole group together and share a meal. And for us to get to know the, you know, my coworkers, kids and, and, you know, what they're into and how they have so much in common with my kids and blah, blah, blah. Like it just, it never happens. And the fact that we're forced to make that happen now is an amazing thing because now we could always do it. We could always do this once a quarter. We could always have the team get together with our families and all share a meal. It's, it's not hard. It's only a scheduling thing. And there's comedy involved because, of course, we keep it real with straight consulting. So she's yelling at her kids. I'm yelling at mine. We're spilling stuff. We're asking for more food. You name it. You know what goes no, on. Janelle, at no, Janelle's kids had a, had a whoopee cushion next to yeah. her. Let's be real. That's, what's, that's what actually it went happened. off like 10 times before Tracy and Scott were like, what was that? <laughs> yeah. And okay. I'm yelling at the kids to please eat their food, eat their food, eat their food, <laughs> eat the food, eat the food. Yeah. So that's life and that's reality. And we don't ever get to know our coworkers that way. So right. um, I think that this is a, an easy one that everyone can implement and at least do quarterly from now on because it, it really gets us closer. Yep. It's an easy bonding one and it's free. Yay. So, um, so yeah, so I think that's all we had, but um, we wanted to, to keep it short and sweet. So well, that's awesome. Uh, somebody asked on uh, line, what softwares are you guys using to put your videos together? Are you just using Scott like Caldwell. Scott Caldwell. Um, <laughs> it's a pretty expensive <laughs> software though, and it's a monthly charge, so you might not want to. No. For the noodle one, it was just iMovie. Um, okay, so it, it sounds like uh, the 
Some of it is iMovie. Yep, it's a little and then some of it we use a, a software called Premiere, which we do we do some editing on um, in general. Right. But obviously. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to plug in. Excuse me. Scott would like everyone to know that um, Adobe Premiere is has got some extra specials going on right now since everybody's at home. So oh, cool. it's incredibly cheap to get. And, and we literally edited all of uh, TC Academy for Trapezio on that. I mean, it's, it's a very robust system for very inexpensive. Yeah. And awesome. just for the record, mine was not edited on iMovie. Um, it was the real MTV. Oh, so, right. Sure. Yeah. Of course. I apologize. Um, well, I, I, two things about that. Number one, um, I live in a 40 foot fifth wheel trailer, so it's going to be a real short episode. I'm just saying. Well, but it, you, got a backyard. you got a front porch little thing. We can make it happen. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I have a front porch. That's where I, I do all my dancing that. in the mornings. That's where, that's where I do my classes. Um, I can't wait to see Carol's dance off. That's going to be, <laughs> I want to see that happening. As a matter of fact, challenge accepted. We all should be doing yeah. a, a dance off for all of us within the next three days. Carol, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited, Carol. I'm going to see you and your husband get down. I think I, I just can't wait. <laughs> All right, you can do it, everyone. I, I bet you can cut a rug. Um, okay, so, <laughs> uh, so I wanted to go through a quick while you guys were, were doing that. I was just throwing this up on the board, just some ideas that we all had today, just to, to bring it all together. Thank you all so much for being here and for watching. Again, take a video, take a picture, uh, tag all of us on your stuff. We would love to see what you guys were seeing and what you were uh, doing, even if you were doing stuff in the middle of it, unless you were in the restroom. We don't want to see that one. Other than that, all the other fun stuff we want to see. Um, so on this, we have uh, just some ideas that we had on here. Obviously, folks on the positive, gratitude journals, thank you cards for both the team members and the docs, uh, daily connection with each person in your team, texting, Marco Polo, uh, Facebook, uh, you can do uh, WhatsApp, uh, team music videos. Uh, I love that. I love doing the music video uh, with that. Like the gen uh, Michelle, if you can share, what was the doctor's name that you shared just yesterday or the day before who did that? Um, to when oh, I see you uh, smile. Hawthorne Orthodontics. Hawthorne, Hawthorne Orthodontics, right? So when I see you smile, that was a great way to do something together when they're not together. That was so much fun. Um, personality challenge, uh, like Sue was talking about. Then we had our Cribs video. Definitely, that's all. That's fun. I actually really like that idea of just going around. And I think everybody should be required to say, walk into their bedroom and go, this is where the magic happens. You know, that thing is that, I think that's, that's that is required. Um, dance off is great. Up level your skills, you guys. Everybody, we've got Trapezio, Yale, AAO. By the way, there's this really new startup website that's out there that has a ton of uh, education art out there called YouTube. <laughs> Everybody can get on YouTube, and there's a ton of startup information out there for everything you need. How do you spell um, that? I know. <laughs> just just, just uh, Google it, which is another <laughs> startup. Use the Google machine. <laughs> um, and then lastly, the team challenge. I'm going to throw this out there again. I'm going to show you guys all real fast uh, what I had my team put together. Um, just go to my website, dinawatt.com, sign up for our uh, email list, and you guys can see this. But we put together 30 days of team challenge here it is right here so this is just that the, this is just the calendar but there's an explanation pdf that goes along with everything of like exactly what to do so for example we have our um, one of them is our funny photo video which is your bed head or your pjs all day video like show that and i have a picture of me with my bed head because before i got my haircut two days ago I look like Wolverine when I wake up sometimes. So it's fun stuff. Um, and then things that help you just get together. The one thing that's on there that Carol mentioned uh, that I really, I'm sorry, Sue, Sue mentioned, but Carol talks about with her husband is do a group team uh, recipe. Everybody say, we're going to make this tonight and we're all going to get around and as a team, we're going to sit and eat or maybe we'll cook it together, do our own cooking show, stuff like that. So have fun with it. That was the whole point of all of this was to help everybody see that we can have fun and I need to stop sharing the screen. Do, 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 do. And even though we're in uh, stressful times and frustrating times, we can still do, 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 stop sharing. There we go. All right. We can all have fun and build our teams together while we are away. Whether it be working on our skills like Lori talked about, whether it be really focusing on the positive, uh, like Michelle was talking about, having fun, knowing our personalities, 
showing gratitude. You guys, our whole goal is just here to give you some ideas and know that you're not alone. I know we might not have been as entertaining, although I would argue uh, as Tiger King right now, but which is very entertaining. The fact that there are people like that in the world, that just gives me joy. It also makes me think I haven't done enough in this life. But it, uh, we are here to help support you and to help your practices grow. Give gratitude to your doctors. Give gratitude to your consultants. Give gratitude to your families for putting up with you because you know, you're home with them all day long too. Remember that, right? They're used to having you gone and you're here all day. So just give gratitude to everybody. I think that's the place to be. Any final words from anybody on here? Thank you so much. We've been an hour and a half. I didn't expect to go this long, but I hope everybody enjoyed it. Any, any final words? Call me if you need me. Absolutely. <laughs> Call Thank me, you. she says. This isn't a dating <laughs> site. This isn't Tinder. Don't do that. <laughs> no, if people are feeling, I'm sorry, Sue, go ahead. I was going to say, if people are feeling down someday, I would say, call me, uh, message me on Facebook, email me, happy to talk to you, and just uh, we can kind of share some things together. Man, you could sit in front of each other and just like pour a glass of one of your thousands of wines there <laughs> and have, have a conversation. Right. Absolutely. Like, like, I think we're, I think that's something to really think about too, is just reach out, reach out, reach out. You're not alone. We're all here. So I think it's powerful. Any other thoughts? I'm a fruit loop in a world of Cheerios. So if you're feeling stale on what to do creatively and um, fun with your team, reach out Janelle at straight consulting. What'd you say? World of Cheerios. She's I'm a, a fruit, fruit loop in a world of Cheerios. You're a Fruit Loop in a world of Cheerios. Okay, <laughs> that's a new tagline. Um, any, any final things? What? Oh, any, yeah, any final comments you guys want to say to everybody else watching and listening and thanking us all for doing this right now? I have something I wanted to throw into your like hashtag giveaway. Yeah. A journal, a gratitude journal. Oh, that's so cool. Filled with inspiration. Fine, it's not as good as the water bottle, but it's go okay, I guess. <laughs> What we got here. Way Get better it. than a water bottle. I want it. Can I win it? You can I like win it. it. All right. Make sure you guys still, even if you're watching this after the replay and it's live, just send in your uh, hashtags and whatever and get a water bottle, get a journal. Anybody else want to throw some? Carol, you got an empty bottle there you can throw? No, I have something here. I, it won't be wine because in case people don't. You know. I want one of your frozen uh, desserts. Why do I, I want those? A beer. A beer. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll have to get you some of those. Uh, I have a, uh, let's see, how many pieces? 15 piece puzzle. It's uh, kind of getting the groove 50s era. And I'm willing to donate this to, again, one of our prizes. So for something to do at home with your family, here's a puzzle. Is it 15 pieces or 1,500? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I work on the ones that are 15, but this one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, Janelle, what do you got? I've got uh, some free toilet paper right here for oh, anyone oh, who I want it. <laughs> Carol's all of a sudden picking up her camera, taking pictures, going to hashtag all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to, yeah, hashtags on. Shannon just reminded me both Instagram and Facebook, either one will work. We'll look at all of those. Just tag us so we know it's there. And it's going to be at random. Maybe it's the most creative. Maybe it's the most fun. Maybe it's just because we're going to do mini, mini, mo. I don't know. Yeah, but it has to tag us. At, yeah, for sure to have it on there. Okay. Any other thank thoughts? You, thank you for doing this. We appreciate yes. it. Thank you, Dina. And thank Absolutely. you to all the folks here. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for doing this. Uh, I know it's uh, putting uh, together another, you guys don't normally talk in five minute spouts about stuff like this. And so it really means a lot to me to do this. Um, this week, for those of you that are watching too, again, is just, I've been kind of filling up this week with stuff to do. Uh, tomorrow you have to register for the LPS thing with Tracy and I, for sure you go do that. Uh, Wednesday or Tuesday is gonna be a conversation with Dr. Dovi Perro and Dr. Stuart Frost about oh, how to engage your patients while you're not with them and have fun engaging uh, activities and st uh, stuff to do. Thursday is gonna be a conversation with Avery Spencer about how to put all of your marketing for social media into uh, one hour. Like we're gonna put all into one hour and give you that to you. And then Friday, the big day. I'm taking my vitamins, I'm working out every day because I'm gonna be on this for, so I've always wanted to be Oprah. And, but, <laughs> you can be. So, so I guess that's what I'm doing is I'm becoming Oprah for a day. Uh, but it'll be a lot of fun. And thank you guys so much for being here. We hope that we've brought you some joy some ideas, some inspiration. 
Go out, be better team members, connect with each other. This is the time where we need to band together and not focus on the negative. We're all in this together, we really are. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Bye everyone. Thanks so much again for listening to the Propreneur Podcast. We really appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do so. Also, if you feel like you might be a good fit for our podcast as a guest or know somebody who you think would be, go ahead and email us at dino at dinowatt.com. Again, thanks for support. We'll see you on the next episode.